Good morning and welcome to the Chart of the Week video with me, David Madden. Today's date is Friday the 27th of November 2020 and the time has just gone 9.12 GMT. And this week's Chart of the Week is Palladium. Now Palladium uh, enjoyed a very bullish run in late 2019 and into 2020. I did multiple all-time highs back in the last year and at the beginning of this year. But like many other markets, it had a major decline um, in February on the back of the pandemic setting in. But since then, um, after a bit of volatility um, in, in March and April, we can see that the market has been in, in a fairly um, slow and steady upward trend the last few weeks and months. And in fact, the highs that were achieved at the beginning of November uh, were the highest level seen since March. So the market's making a recovery. If we take a look at the price action in the last few sessions, we can see that it's been hasn't been powering ahead, but it's been ticking ticking higher um, yet again. If we take a look at this blue line here, the 50-day moving average, it was sort of dancing around it for the last few sessions, the last week or so, but it has been moving higher again. We've now hit its highest level uh, since, since the 11th uh, of, of November. If we continue to press on higher from here, we could be looking at targeting this zone here around, around 2,500. And if we go beyond that, we can then be looking heading back towards the highs of early March uh, in around this zone here um, in around 2,549. And should we go beyond that, we can then potentially look at retesting the all-time highs north uh, of 2,700. Now, there's, that's the price action, uh, potential price targets should the market uh, move uh, um, higher. If you take a look at what's going on in terms of the, um, the 50 moving average here, this blue line here, that comes into play um, just south. Um, it comes into play at 2,334. Uh, if you go below that, we can then head, head back down towards this yellow line here, the 100 moving average in a 2,000 2,227. Notice how the fifth, the 100 moving average acted nicely as support in late October. We can also see it acting as support um, back in July as well. So if a metric has been important in the past, it makes it more likely it'll be of importance in the future, although there are no guarantees. So just keep an eye out for those metrics. Um, in terms of the, both the 50 day moving average and also the 100 day moving average. And if you go below that, um, the next level to keep an eye out for will be this red line here, the 200 day moving average. That comes into play in a 2,149. And, you know, similar scenario, we saw that metric uh, act as, both as resistance and support back in July. So there's a couple of potentially um, big areas of support for uh, in terms of movement moving averages should we drift lower but just keep in mind um we have been in a nice kind of upward trend the last few months of so buying on the dip has been a fairly common strategy now if you are going to be trading palladium uh it's a good idea to keep an eye on what's going on on the platinum market um both those metals have a history uh, of being in uh, in use for catalytic converters um, basically cutting down on emissions from engines and as we know um, no pun intended there's been a big drive um, to actually to head towards greener energies uh, this, this is part of the reason why the likes of both um, palladium and platinum have been popular uh, in the last few weeks last the last few years if you take a look at the kind of price action on platinum uh, we can see here a similar scenario we had a major sell-off in, in, in March because of the overall pandemic and then if you take a look at the price action since then, broadly speaking, it has been moving higher. And if you take a, if you take a look at the price action more recently, we can see that not too long ago, uh, earlier this week, we saw, uh, we saw um, platinum hit its highest level since September. So hit a two-month high not too long ago. So we can see that palladium is, in, broadly speaking, in its upward trend. Platinum is also, been, in broadly, broadly speaking, being pushing higher. And the reason why I'm talking about this uh, is one of the tenets of Dow theory is that the averages must confirm each other. Um, to be fair, it, 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 to be fair, they're, they're not those two metals are have similarities, but they also have differences. And what, what that what that um, 
pedant of doll theory means if markets are similar, they should be moving in the same direction and, and or they're likely to be moving in the same direction. And if they are likely to move in the, in the same direction, you can be more confident of that move. So if you if you think if you have a bullish view on palladium and you also see an upward move in platinum, you can be more confident that platinum palladium is going to move higher. And conversely, if if you feel that um, palladium is going to have a sell-off and you're also seeing a similar price action in platinum because it's a similar market, you can then be more confident of that move, but although there are no guarantees. Uh, that's all from this video. Thank you for listening. Have a good weekend.